What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be teaching my not so little brother to do how to do an oil change on on a CRV on our mom's car. Yep. So, first things first. First things first, I need help already. I don't know where the, the thing for the hood is. Oh my god. And I'm not cutting this out. Pop the hood, little brother. <laughs> Man. Dude, no way. I can't see it. It's always under there, so. Really? I think on this one is on the side though, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I feel like it's so weird how these don't have hood struts. Like, it's a 2016 Touring and it still has this like oh, yeah. crappy prop, but whatever. All right, so. First, you want to open the oil cap and then we'll jack the car up and get draining. Just put it anywhere. Uh, I'd put it like in the cowl so it doesn't fall. So now bring the jack and we're gonna jack it up. Come down here. So Hondas always have this little jacking point, which is that part right there. You see it? This. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure the jack is right under there. Start pumping. You just need enough to where you can slide under it. You can keep going though. All right, that should be good. Now grab the jack stand. We're only gonna jack it up from this side. Just put it anywhere on the pinch weld right here. Just all the way up. Is that as high as it goes? Uh. Uh, all right so so they let off yeah lower it down to the jack stand all right all right did you close it yeah close the jack yeah so i like keeping pressure on it just so it has two security mechanisms yeah. <laughs> all right so now we have to drain the oil so get the creeper do you know where the drain plug is uh uh Listen. Uh, is there one here? There's one here, yeah. I think it's that one then. Is it? Yeah. It says engine oil right here. It does? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I'm pointing right here. Okay, then yeah, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad teacher. <laughs> All right. So, what? Do you know what size it could be? Uh, 17. Yeah, I think so. You ever seen the TikTok trend? No. Basically, you try to get the oil thing off the the screw, mm -hmm. and then you can't get any oil on your hands. So it's a trend. Uh, yeah. I was gonna try to do the trend. You can if you want. Damn. So we're shooting for YouTube and TikTok. And TikTok, yeah. We're such multitaskers. <laughs> Make sure the ratchet is on off so you can take it off and not tighten it. I told you that oh thing is short. God. There you go. It's free? Yeah. Oh, sh I'm ready for the TikTok. Hold on, pull this up. I'm not trying to get this dirty. Ooh. Are you clean? Yeah. Let me see the hands. Oh, nice. Nothing. All right, cool. So, right now what you can do is uh, loosen up the filter and let that start draining too. You know where the filter is? Yeah. You can use those pliers. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you have to go lefty loosey right now. There you uh, go. You could probably get it off by hand now. So, once you feel like it's not that tight anymore, make sure you move the oil bucket so it can start catching it when it drips. Is that just taking completely off right now? Uh, it's gonna drip all over your hands. Another TikTok trend. Nah, that, you can't really beat that one. So just let, just uh, undo it until it starts dripping and then let it drip. All right, like right there. Just let it drip a little on its own. So you wanna get the car level now to get all the oil out. So pump the jack up once so you can take the jack stand out 
and then bring it back down to the ground right there all right just leave it out there just leave it right there because you're gonna put it back on so now bring the jack all the way down there you go yeah so just give it a couple so it can drain out completely and then we can take the filter off put the new one on and we'll be good to go you know what that washer was for? What this? Yeah. The, the bolt? Yeah. So you're gonna put that on the bolt. Where'd you put the bolt? Uh, somewhere under here. Ah. <laughs> what, he lost it? I lost it. <laughs> it's under there. I thought you had put it like right where the oil pan is right now, but maybe. That means it would be there though. It's where it was earlier? Yeah. Alright. Time to find the bolt. It should be under there. Oh, it's right there. Where? Right oh, under, under it. it. I told you. So, is there a washer on it now? Um, yeah. Yeah, so you have to take that off. Oh, did you get it off? Yeah, no, keep going. Just break it? Yeah. There you go. Now you can put the new one on. Very clean. It doesn't matter. Alright. Put it on by hand and then do it with the ratchet. So just go till it's snug and then just give it one little oomph. One ugga dugga. Good? Yep. Are you gonna want an oil change next? Uh, if he does this one good, yeah. If the, it's not knocking after. He's a pro, right? He's not, yeah, I'm a pro. He knows exactly where it's the not gonna be knocking. hood, huh? It's not going to be knocking. Uh, let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now what you can do with the filter is spin it like super fast and then just get away from it. Oh, yeah. Oh, alright, you took it off, yeah. Just let it, or uh, put it upside down on the bucket. And then just let it drain like that. I think I'm ready to put in a new motor. Oh, <laughs> he's ready for swaps. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is, so when the motor or when the filter goes sideways, you can't. People just uh, lubricate that rubber ring. Mm -hmm. But since this one goes up, you can actually fill the... Oh. the filter up with oil and it's better for the car because when you start it up it, it's not dry from the start so there you go. that's fine it doesn't have to be complete I mean some people just put it on dry so just rub the ring around so it, you can make sure it's lubricated I know. Did you see that lovely detail? Freaking piece of donut wrapped in a Dunkin' napkin. Oh. Uh, it's wet. It's the owner of this car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something you always want to do is check the old filter you take off of it and make sure that that rubber ring is still on it. The gasket, so. Yeah, that's still on it. Okay, so. You're good to go because sometimes it stays on the motor mm -hmm. and you'll double gasket it and once you go to start the car up, pool of oil everywhere. Really? Yeah. Oh. I've done it here in this garage. Really? Yeah. I oh. forgot what car it was with but I was in a hurry and I didn't check it. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Just screw that on. Just make sure it's tight by hand. You're good to go. Your hand's oily, right? Yep. 
I saw it drip a little bit. Can you tighten it like that? Kinda. Yeah. This is tight. This is how I'm gonna get it. All right. You're pretty strong, so. There is no thing. <laughs> oh no no no! You never no. When you're tightening filters, it's always just by hand. Really? So yeah. So as long as you think it's tight, tight, then. Okay. Well, we're gonna like I said, it doesn't way. have to be it's like you know, stupid gorilla tight, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I still got a little bit more. <laughs> I'm <laughs> zoomed into your face. <laughs> Look at how oily my hand is though. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Alright. You're ready to start putting the oil in, so just put the funnel in there. Dude, it's starting to rain. For real. Holy crap, what the heck? The sky is still blue. Alright, let's hurry up. So, luckily for you, this car takes exactly five quarts, so just yeah, dump the whole, whole thing in there and you're good. What the heck? Why is it raining? Just make sure you don't go too fast. And always look under the funnel because sometimes it starts spewing out and then spewing out. Yeah. I said that. I said pewing. Pewing <laughs> out, yeah. Ooh. Every drop count, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that should be good. You're like, hold on, there's still another drop in there. <laughs> there's still like a set in there. Oh, dang it. All right, so put the cap on. Why is it raining? All right, now you can go ahead. So what you want to do right now is start it and then come out, look under the car, make sure nothing is leaking, and then you're good to close or to turn it off again. Okay. Oh. Yep. That's the problem. Crap. Hold on. All the cards are dead here, man. Dude, they made no sound. Yeah, it's dead, dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I jumped. All right, so start it. That is so weak. All right, go check. Check, 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 check. Make sure nothing is leaking. No? Alright, so give it like a couple revs, like one, two revs, not like super high, just quick revs and then yeah, you can turn it off. On it. <laughs> that should be good. You can turn it off now. Alright, so now what you want to do is check the oil, make sure it's at the fill line or full line and that means you're good to go. Wipe it off first. You'll never know if you... So every time you check oil, you always have to wipe it off first. Like pull it out, wipe it, and then put it in, and then you can read it. See? Yeah. Yeah, so it's right at the full line, so you're good to go now. My mom and her seat covers. <laughs> and we have to figure out how to reset the freaking oil light on this thing. You wanna go? Sure. Uh, rob my mom from her gum. All right. Oh wait. We have bad to chew gum while we're recording. Mm -hmm. A lot of you guys have trashed me for chewing gum while recording. Well, I haven't been chewing gum, but everyone else has been. <laughs> so, we'll keep the chewing and the lip smacking to a minimum. All right, so, I honestly don't know how to do this. We're gonna learn. Dude, I 
know you have the same car. But I hate Hondas for this crap. <laughs> Did you have to reset it? You know how difficult it is to navigate through all of this, but. Voila! We actually got it quick this time. I think mine's easier to use. Why does my mom have a white claw? It's unopened, it's unopened. I know it's unopened, but like, man, that looks so bad. Yeah. All right, we're done. All right, guys, so my brother is now certified mechanic. ASC certified <laughs> oil changer. <laughs> it's a mechanic, though. It's part of it. Hit him up for any oil changes your car might need. He or said he's ready to take on. Swapping um, an engine. Yeah, more advanced stuff like yeah. doing swaps now. Um, if you need an engine built, he can build you a... How many horsepower capable engine do you think you can build right now? Uh, right now, I think only 850. 850 to the wheels? To the wheels though, yeah. 850 wheel horsepower motor. If you, you're looking for one, hit him up. He can build you one. He knows all the right specs and everything. Do you know how to use a micrometer and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Torque wrench? Yeah, no, I know what that is okay. at least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not know lying about that part. Yeah, I didn't know the other word. All that. right, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, keep moving forward. Bruh. Oh, you want me to... As always, <laughs> keep moving forward. Just stay on the gas.